Okay guys, so I just got done washing my hair. I just got out the shower, don't mind my face. I'm trying to get rid of these pimples. And, woo, I'm cooking at the same time too, so I'm like procrastinating right now. I'm doing like five different things at once. So, this is my hair after washing it. It looks very, like, it looks unfull, but, once I get this blow dried and everything, it's about to be like out here, I'm telling y'all. So, okay, so once I separate my leave out from the weed, I'm gonna take, where is it at? My coconut oil weightless hydrating oil mist. And I'm gonna put that around the entire perimeter of my hair to, to protect the braids. And I'm my hair has grown a little bit, so I can actually pull the hair and like you can see some of my braids so I'm gonna get this actually all up in between my braids to make sure that my braids are moisturized because I don't want to just do the leave out in my hair and forget about my braids underneath they need to be moisturized too don't ever forget out this forget about the braids underneath drink your water water your hair and oil your hair that's all you can do and I'm telling you your hair will be okay and don't use a lot of heat on your leave out So I'm going around the entire perimeter. And it's a lightweight oil, so it's not gonna weigh down. I'm not even getting on my hair, on this hair or my leave out, but if I do, it's not gonna weigh it down because it's a lightweight oil, so. Next, I'm gonna take my weave and take my heat protectant spray and just spray my hair down, but not too much because it doesn't need that much. Put some on the ends. Oh. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I just sprayed myself in the face. Take my Mio Organics Leave-In Conditioner and just put a little bit literally that much and I'm gonna put that on the weave but like I said I don't want to like weigh it down and I'm gonna put the most on the ends because I like to protect my weave from having split ends also any hair that's in my head is gonna look good, baby. And that's kind of helping the curls come, but I'm not about to wear it curly. 
I'm about to blow dry it out. Before I blow dry that out, where's my clip? I'm gonna let that sit. And then I'm gonna take care of this part before it dries, cause when my hair dries, it's so much harder to manage. So before I start blow drying, I wanna make sure. So same thing, I'm gonna take a little bit of leave-in and just rub that. And then I'm gonna take, and then I'm gonna take my hair, my um, my heat protecting spray. Okay, so now that I got this blow dry and section out of the way, I'm just gonna blow dry my hair now. And as you know, I've added my leave-in and my um, heat protective spray, so my hair should be all covered. No heat damage is about to occur. And I also added my um, weightless oil to my braids, so they good, so let's get it. Okay guys, so once I get my hair fully straightened, well not straightened, fully blow dried, I still have to let my roots, which is my braids, I have to let those dry and it's honestly gonna take a while. So I let them air dry. Why do I got that in the middle of my face? <laughs> I let my braids air dry and then when it's like, I literally, I let it air dry for a day and then tomorrow I'll probably just blow dry it the rest of the way because I can't blow dry my braids dry like 100% of the way. It's just gonna take too long. So I'll be back tomorrow and I will finish off the rest of this video. I'm gonna let my braids dry overnight. Hey y'all, so I had some free time. So I, I literally sat here for like an hour and just blow dry my roots. 
to get my braids dry because I want to finish this video. Because <laughs> I'm really not going to have enough time tomorrow. I can finish like the waking up look, but I got to actually do it, do it tonight. So, yes, y'all. So, my braids are finally dry. And now that my braids are dry, I'm just going to take my leave out and blend it with my hair now. And I'm going to add another layer of heat protectant because I'm going to be using my flat. I'm going to be using my flat irons now, so I'm going to be using this heat protectant hair serum, hair serum and it's by Olive Oil ORS. And I'm only going to take like a dime size amount and add it in my hair and the weave. Y'all, this hair is super soft after that wash day, that hair mask that I did last night. Make sure you guys check out that video because that really made my hair super soft. And it's about to be, I know it's about to be bomb because, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm finally done flat ironing my hair. Oh, my camera had died before, that's why it just skipped to this part. I had to charge my camera, so. Yeah, so I'm finally done. And y'all, the body in this hair, like, this looks like all my hair. So y'all, I hope that I was able to help you guys on how to care for your leave out a little better because I'm telling y'all that was so is was like my I love getting them but my hair suffered and now I found me a routine that helps me take care of my leave out and make sure I'm not getting any heat damage and I'm limiting the amount of heat that I'm putting on my hair so that is just the uh, this is the routine that just works for me and it leaves my hair super soft super silky and the blend is just, it just looks like all my hair. You really can't tell. I'm gonna a little ball spot right there. I don't though, y'all. I need to do my baby hairs and my hair is kind of like pulled from my braids. But anyways, this blend is crazy right now. This looks like all my hair. Y'all can't tell me when my hair stopped right now.
Okay guys, so I let my hair sit overnight and I'm getting ready for work right now. So I'm about to take my hair down and catch these results. It's falling already. So I'm just about to remove all of my bobby pins from my pin curls. I think I got them all out. Y'all, I can tell, I don't think this turned out how I wanted it to at all. This is nothing like I was trying to do. <laughs> so y'all, this is nothing how I wanted it. I thought I was gonna get some cute pin curls that was gonna give me like a body wave. Cause that's what I used to do and it turns out perfect. But I don't know. <laughs> this hair just didn't do it. It's cool though. At least it's straight. Okay, y'all, so don't tell nobody this our little secret. I did have to put some more heat in it because I had to fix the parts that was messed up. The curls didn't take, so it kind of made some of my hair like crinkly and it wasn't completely like bone straight. So I just have to get it bone straight. Don't tell nobody, it's okay. As long as my day one style is like A1, I don't put heat in it after that. And like I said, as long as you're taking care of your hair on wash day, that little, little bit of extra heat shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad for you. Just don't do it every day. Like I said, I won't do this again until I wash my hair again. So I'm taking some of my coconut milk. Y'all already know. And I'm just applying that all over my head to really just finish off this silk hair. Like, look at that. Y'all see it? Let me get my flyaways. I'm telling y'all, that's the finishing touch. That's what really get your hair super soup, that coconut milk. So yeah, so I just had to fix it a little bit. So I guess I'm gonna just do the straight hair today and then try my curls again another day maybe because they did not, they did not, turn out how I wanted them to. I've done them so many times when I used to do so wins and they would be like bomb. So I don't know. It didn't work that time. It's okay though. I'ma just go get me a, um, a curler, honestly. Let's just go buy me a curler and get my curls that way. So this is my finished look guys. This is how I take care of my hair that sew into my head, my braids underneath, and my leave out to make sure whenever it's time to take this out, my hair reverts right back. No heat damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my video that I did before this one that was actually showing you how I did my DIY, um, my DIY heat, heat protectant whatever i whatever i called it i don't know what i called it in that video but my DIY, diy hair mask that i did to protect my hair from heat damage make sure you guys check that video out it should be up before this one and then this will be the second part to that video showing you how i take care of my hair underneath and my sewing on wash day blah 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 so thank you guys for watching you already know if you're new to natural beauty game go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any uploads make sure your notifications are on because you know YouTube be playing and they don't send it to everybody. So make sure you turn your notifications on. 
And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys on my next video.